Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 26 of Civilization VI as the German Empire. We peaced out with England in the last video after taking Manchester from them. Managed to get an excellent peace deal, over 17,000 gold. Um, three religious relics, even though I only had room for one, so the other two got destroyed, but at least England no longer have them. And I managed to get a lot of their luxury resources from them as well. Um, Rome likes me quite a lot because I have a decent air force. I'm sure that all of the other civs are going to start denouncing me. I particularly expect it from England right now, because we've just peaced out with them after a war. My empire is heading towards bankruptcy, is it? I've got 500 ducats, ducats gold, 500 gold in the bank, and I'm making gold per turn. A world without radio is a deaf world. In order to rally people... Governments need enemies. If they do not have a real enemy, they will invent one in order to mobilize us. Okay, so 50% um, discount on all unit upgrades. That's a really good one, and I think I want to keep that. Um, gold and faith from trade, route, trade routes is good. Uh, all of these are good, but I would like to have the unit maintenance uh, cost reduction by two gold per turn per unit. Um, great engineers I don't find all as useful in this game. Um, I don't have many garrisoned units, so the plus, but I think that plus one amenity is still worth keeping. Let's go and change it for the great engineer. So we're getting 20.9 gold per turn. I wish it updated on the same turn so you could actually see what's happening. Um, you're going to go around, actually, can we use our plane? Let's just go have a look and see if we can use one of these. So we could air attack. How effective are you? Well, it certainly survived. Um, but let's go ahead and use our uh, anti-tank on these guys. Still didn't quite get him, unfortunately, but we can use this anti-tank, get him with him. Oh, apparently not on this turn we can't, though, so let's go ahead and get another biplane. So, what does deploying do? No, it doesn't make the camera move. So, is that kind of like, um... I have no idea, I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, you're going to air attack. So at least we've got rid of him now. And wait for the camera to do its dodgy moving thing. So let's go and have a look at air combat. So we want um, concepts. We want to look at combat. Doesn't really tell us here. Unit movement. Air combat. Introduction. Four main types of units. Support, reconnaissance. Support defense, fighters, and strategic bombers. These can be produced from any city that has built an aerodrome and researched the prerequisite technologies. Air units do not move around the map like normal ground or naval units, so same as Civ 5. They must be based somewhere. The city center can always hold one air unit, but uh, building an aerodrome, airstrip, or aircraft carrier can increase available slots. The aerodrome can have up to eight slots, the airstrip three, and an aircraft carrier begins with two but can gain more through promotions. Uh, fighter aircraft can be deployed to a valid hex within the movement range from a friendly base. After it is deployed, the aircraft will begin flying an orbiting pattern around its effective intercept range, uh, currently one hex radius. This should make it more clear to both the attacker and the defender the state of status of the fighters in the patrol state. So basically, it is air intercept. Um, except this time around you can actually it's visible so you don't have the sweep for interceptors uh, do it you don't have the air sweep thing anymore you can see where they're at, where they're on uh, intercept now um, the patrol state is continuing somewhat like the fortify unit operation once an aircraft is set to patrol it will do so until it is ordered otherwise or it is destroyed while patrolling the aircraft will continue to intercept and defend against multiple attackers at any time during the player's turn 
The fighter aircraft can return to base in order to heal. Aircraft stationed at an airbase do not intercept attacking aircraft. Aircraft can heal at any time. Okay, so they've changed the way the interception works. Airstrikes, well, interceptions. Fighters can be sent to intercept enemy air attacks. AA guns and mobile SAMs automatically intercept. They do not need to be given a special mission. If an air unit tries an airstrike against a target within the range of an intercepting unit, the interceptor will fire on the attacker and do damage to it. So it seems like it's a more simplified uh, air game, but I don't really mind that. Our mission target is no longer valid because we've we've got that tech now. Uh, we'll try and steal their money from them again then. Why not? You can never have too much money. Um, let's go for conservation because it leads to some better stuff later down the line. Uh, 44 turns to get the research lab in the campus. Maybe not. Let's get the granary. Let's move some of these units for, away from um, Greece a little bit just because he seems to be a little bit twitchy. So if we can back off, that is fine. Uh, you can stay there, I suppose. And we'll go on to the next turn. So we're only four turns away from rocketry. Hopefully soon we'll be able to start working towards that scientific victory. We need to build a spaceport. 2,000 production to build a spaceport. 2,000! Absolutely ludicrous. Where are we going to get 2,000 production? I don't think Akin has anywhere near that sort of output. But we'll do what we can. Improvement has been pillaged. Yeah, well, we're kind of aware of that. We do need to get all of these fixed. Um, you guys should probably heal up. And you can just go to sleep. And yes, we have that um, builder that was going to... Well, I guess you're coming over here now to repair. That's not a... Uh, it's only districts that they've pillaged, so you're not really going to be repairing anything. So you need to get over here and repair that fish. Field cannon, you can just fortify. You can fortify and on to the next turn. So we've basically not got an awful lot to do at the moment. We just want to w wait for rocketry to finish. And again, there's something that hasn't actually moved, which is you. Um, let's get you over here because you can help clear this barbarian camp. Not too sure how effective an anti-tank crew is going to be against a barbarian spearman. Apparently quite effective. So we'll try and do that. Try and remember at the end of this turn to have a little look at our demographics as well. Just to see if we can find out what's going on. We've almost completed this wonder, which should give us a significant bit of uh, production in the city. So that should help out with the um, the science victory. It's kind of what I'm going for. See, now he likes us because our treasury's filling up. Even though we only have a few gold, more than we had on the last turn. So Now I'd like to actually be able to clear my, the camp myself. And that's going to be difficult with a um, ranged based unit unless he kills it. But if he kills it, he's going to move in there. So, there's kind of not really a lot I can do about that. As long as the camp's gone, though, I will be happy. Uh, let's go and repair the commercial hub. We have our artillery, which we were going to use on Greece. Uh, we might still keep it down here somewhere, just for use on Greece at a later date. Because, like I said, I'm still not entirely certain whether or not I am actually going to declare war on Greece. I don't know if it's worthwhile. Uh, apparently we have a lot of dyes. Would be nice to trade with some other people. Maybe for some stuff we don't have. Or we don't seem to be getting warnings about amenities at the moment. Frankfurt was the worst. It is still on negative three. Which is uh, quite bad. Not sure that I could get anybody anything from anybody else though. Let's just have a quick look. Um... Does anybody have anything to spare? You do not. Spain. Um, probably nothing that you'd be willing to give me. Actually, you would. I've got spare mercury. 
22 gold for 30 turns. That's quite a lot. But do you know what? If we go ahead and do it, we get the truffles. Um, that's cost us a lot of money, but that should then sort out some of the problems. Let's get rid of you anyway. No, we are, we are a melee unit, aren't we? We're not a ranged unit. We're melee, so we will take that. Fantastic. And we've got this balloon thing. You're going to go over here, and you are going to get attached to the um, artillery. So that basically gives the artillery one extra range. So you don't you don't have the plus one range promotion anymore. You just use this support unit. Uh, choose our production. We probably need another one of them. Um, you have no housing. You have no amenities. Neighbourhood would take a long time. Let's get the workshop because it'll be relatively quick to build. On to the next turn. In two more turns here we'll have another artillery. So we will want to build another one of those things. We don't have a huge deal of income at the moment. Which is surprising because all of those uh, trade routes that we had going to Spain... Uh, well, I guess we do have a lot of income, but unless we've, we've got a lot of outgoings. Yeah, we're spending 51 gold per turn on uh, deals currently. So that's quite expensive. Japan has built a sewer. And we are in the atomic era. That's sort of... When you launch a rocket, you're not really flying that rocket. You're just sort of hanging on. That is very true. Uh, let's start bringing you home. Uh, I guess you guys can... Well, let's actually get some of these units garrisoning, because garrisoning does um, give us an extra amenity because of the uh, policy that we've got. So it's definitely worth having some units garrisoned up. Uh, choose our research. Now, what do we want to get next? We probably want to get electricity because we want to get into computing. That will double our tourism yields. We'd probably like advanced flight as well. So let's go into computers. So, it's going to be three turns on electricity. So, it'll be quite quick to get those two techs, one after another. On to the next turn. Uh, what is this that got pillaged here? That is a um, camp. You should go and do that. Uh, so, this artillery is basically just going to um, fortify. But you're going to move on top of it. Um, apparently, you are not. Because it's a different turn still. Um, you want to give me... Right, research satellites for spare cotton. You've got um, pearls. And you want to give me money. Yep, sure. <laughs> That'll help with the uh, gold issue a little. And it'll also help with the uh, amenities issue. So what have we got now going on at Frankfurt? Uh, it still says it's at minus one. Still being denounced by the Congo. Hardly a surprise. Not expecting that to change anytime soon. Think yourself lucky you're too far away for me to be bothered to send an army over there and attack you. Uh, I don't think we... How do you select this plane? Oh, it's there. I see. Uh, we'll send him back to base because I don't think there's any point in him being there right now. So we do have spare cotton. Looks like we've got spare truffles as well, actually. Buying that truffles wasn't necessarily uh, the right thing to do, was it? Uh, let's go and grab that plane and uh, tell it to um, deploy home, no? Rebase? Yep, go home. Um, choose a production. So we've finished an artillery here. Let's go ahead and get another archaeological museum. Let's get that other artillery out there. You are going to go and join up with that artillery. So let's link you together. So now that artillery has a range of three, which is really nice. Um, you're just going to fortify. Um, you are going to fortify as well. You just go to sleep. Uh, surely if you've got two units connected to one another, they should both fortify. Uh, you fortify there. Uh, you can move into um, Heidelberg. And you can move into Aachen. So we also need to attempt to get ourselves some more, um... No, nope, I've lost it. Train of thought got completely derailed there. Let's go ahead and repair that. I love this animation. Let's see if we can see it without the camera going dappy. It's cartoony, but I don't care. I love it. I actually do. 
I, and, and don't get me wrong, I have said this several times before, but for anyone that might have just sort of jumped into one random video in, in the middle of the series, I do. I did like the graphics on Civilization V. Civilization V is one of my... Um, out of all the strategy games, both 4X and Grand Strategy that I've played, uh, I think Civilization V looks the nicest. I, I love the level of realism that it has. However, playing this takes me back to games like Settlers, because the Settlers games are always very, very cartoony, very tongue in cheek, and I loved that about them. You know, I, I, I don't mind at all um, that this game is cartoony, and I know that's going to be con controversial because there are there are some people who are, are really upset uh, by the fact that this game doesn't look like the, um, you know, the older ones uh, used to. Although saying that, uh, before Civilization Five, Civilization sort of. Two, three, and four were all quite cartoony as well. Um, we do have uh, a barbarian camp down there. I'm going to go and take one of these field guns to attempt to deal with it, assuming it's not full of tanks. Uh, so we've got ourselves another... Yeah, there's a couple of sites down here that I'd like to try and clear. But um, I'm not going to do that until we've sorted out the barbarians. And I've, I've got a unit that can protect it. So we've got to go and put this uh, archaeologist to sleep until we've cleared that one out. So, um, we could go ahead and get the spaceport here. It'll take ages to build. Um, let's go and... We can get an entertainment complex. Not in any good spots, though. Six tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if we build an entertainment complex here, and then build a zoo in it... Um, that zoo would reach Frankfurt and Nuremberg and Aachen, so it'd be well worth doing that, actually. Um, what do we want to build here in Manchester? Everything we build is going to take, like, forever. Um, let's go and build a Hansa if we can. Uh, we'll use that tile. Extra two production. On to the next turn. I still keep forgetting to check the demographics. We can do that now, though, so... Um, England is still leading for a domination victory because they just have the biggest army. England is still leading for a religious victory, although they're not even halfway there yet. Uh, Rome is leading for a culture victory. We're in second place. We're catching them up. We're definitely leading for a science victory. So what we need to do, we need to launch a satellite. We need to um, land a human on the moon, and we need to establish a Martian colony. So the next step is build a spaceport. It's already telling us what we need to do. Build a spaceport, research rocketry, launch an Earth satellite, research satellites, launch the moon landing, research nuclear fusion, uh, Mars reactor, research robotics, launch the Mars habitation, research nanotechnology, launch Mars hydroponics. So the first thing to do, build a spaceport, research rocketry. We've already researched rocketry. How long do we have left on that wonder? Five turns. Uh, AT crew is just going to... In fact, that AT crew can escort the... Um, can escort you. And then we can deal with the barbarians that way. We'll still bring that gun down. I do want to move the AT crew back into the uh, city, though. Because that way they're providing um, extra amenities in there. Because of one of the policies that we have. So that'll work out for us. Uh, two and a, almost two and a half thousand. Ah, oh, what do you want to give us here? You want to give me golden open borders for tea and stuff. Um, not too bothered about the open borders at all. Uh, would you be willing to give me 12 gold per turn, maybe? Okay, how about 11? So, give me 10 gold per turn and give me 30 gold straight up. Yeah, sure. There we go. So... A little bit of extra money coming in. 42.6 gold per turn there. That's not too bad. I've still got my Pantheon everywhere, which is actually really good. Well, it's not that good because it's Benjamin fertility Franklin rights, but... may have discovered electricity. But it was the man who invented the meter who made the money. Well, that is true. So we can build U-boats now, which is our um, unique unit. We can also um, build power plants for more production. Uh, we can claim a great person, which is a great engineer, actually. Um, and we can get a great writer. So you give us um, 1,500 production towards a space race project construction. Yes, we definitely want you. And also, 
Um, let's go and buy the great writer as well. Didn't even read what he did, but I just wanted one. So we need to um, put you to sleep until we start building on the spaceport, I think. Um, AT crew, let's come down here and see. Oh, AT crew versus AT crew. Interesting. Apparently we would have a major defeat here. So we might just move out and uh, leave that guy alone, but we'll use the um, we'll use the you to take him out. There's another one down here as well. There's actually a few of them around. So there's two down there. Yeah, there's three of them along the bottom of the map. We'll probably go and get all of those. Uh, unit needing orders. You can fortify until healed. Uh, we've got our great writer as well. Um, you what? Yeah, you're the great. No, you're the great scientist. We'll go on to the next turn. I don't think we can... We should be able to use them on this turn. But then this will probably be the last turn before we end the video anyway. I don't think there's any point in connecting up that coal. Apparently we only have one coal now though, so maybe I will do that. Still got a lot of faith in the bank, so we can get another great person in the not-too-distant future. So, let's try and remember to get all of this stuff sorted out. So, first of all, let's move you over there. Um, unit has gained a promotion. That is our spy. Um, sabotage production. Disrupt rocketry. That's actually nice. So you, if you're, if you're, um, if somebody else is about to get a uh, space win, you can use spies to try and disrupt that. That is something I like. Stolen a load of gold as well. Uh, unit needs orders. You are going to um, just fortify in there. So you're our great writer. What can you actually do? Let's move you out here, and you can create War of the Worlds and the Time Machine. Both the excellent books. Believed in the last years of the 19th century. That this world was being watched keenly and closely by intelligences greater than man's, and yet as mortal as his own. That as men busied themselves about their various concerns, they were scrutinized and studied, perhaps almost as narrowly as a man with a microscope might scrutinize the transient creatures that swarm and multiply in a drop of water. I just waited there. I wondered how much of the uh, book he was actually going to narrate. But um, I must admit, um, I have heard better people narrating that throughout the various... Uh, it's, it's fantastic to hear Bean reading it. Um, Sean, that is, not Mr. Um, but I've heard uh, various people narrating that throughout the ages. And um, not one of the best, I have to say. Uh, let us get you down here onto this one. And we'll keep sort of moving you down as well. And that is all we can do on this turn, so I'm going to end the video there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you are still enjoying Civilization VI as the German Empire. I'll see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.